Hey everyone, Legend here. Today we're at Gulf World here in Panama City Beach, which is an aquarium and like marine mammal show park. Let's go see what they have. So probably the most popular thing here at Gulf World is the dolphin show. Yes. And it exists in the, really, the, the dolphin facility is amazing. Like truly world-class, giant facility, both with the show pool and the holding pools. Really, really nice. Yes, the pools are giant. Yeah. And uh, the show is kind of standard dolphin kind of show stuff. So if you've seen a dolphin show before, you kind of know what you're going to get here. Um, I thought it was uh, well done. You did learn some, they did do some educational stuff. And some stuff I didn't know. Like they talked about like, if you happen to find a beach dolphin, yeah, how absolutely. to take care of them and that kind of thing. That was my that, favorite part because you never hear any, you see it on signs, mm -hmm. but you never, no one actually talks about it. And they demonstrated if you find a creature that's beached on the ocean, like what are on the beach, yeah, keep it cool and keep it yeah. wet and that kind of thing. And, and don't let anyone touch it and yeah. have no no one around it. And uh, the facility was very, very impressive too. Yeah. Like the top notch, world class. Um, I, like uh, I've been to my fair share of these kind of zoo and aquarium type places. And that was one of the nicest dolphin facilities I've seen anywhere. Really, okay. really nice. Now they do do get into the pool with the dolphins. Yes, they do. So be forewarned about that. But uh -huh. overall, a very decent show. Here you can see my personal favorite animal in the whole wide world. Of course, that is the penguin. These guys are African penguins. They've got a couple of them. They do have like a penguin meet and greet experience you could do, but I think it was like 60 or $70. Oh, uh, we're moving. We got a better penguin spot. Oh, we're gonna get real up close to this guy. And his friend. And his friend who's also walking over. Uh, kind of an odd enclosure for penguins. Like it's definitely not one you see often between the roof and uh, the weird fountain. But they're still penguins, which means they're still awesome. Here is a beautiful sea turtle. Uh, very, very large, swimming away from us, showing us his turtle bum. You do have some underwater viewing for those giant turtles as well which is kind of neat, but this glass is really needs a good cleaning. All right, and it looks like also in the turtle tank is sharks. You do have a whole bunch of sharks all piled up here. Kind of interesting. You could also see his, uh, his eye. Here's an overview of that turtle and shark tank. Um, I will say it definitely does not seem like a very large enclosure for a turtle of that size, unfortunately. So we just got out of the sea lion show and it was interesting. It was actually more, a lot of different animals in there. First of all, my favorite part, it started amazing with a penguin walking across the stage and the penguin was very happy and he didn't want to go back in his cage so he just kept wandering around yes. and it was adorable. Uh, you had sea lions in the show. You had rough-toothed dolphins, who I've never even seen before. No. Apparently, they're the only ones in North America, uh, like in captivity, or the ones here, and they're all non-releasable rescues. Yes. As I believe they said, like every they animal every in the animal zoo in this, uh, is a non-releasable yep. rescue animal, which is good. Um, and then they had a really impressive to me. They had a harbor seal that was trained very, very, very well. Yeah. And these are those animals are never in shows like this. And uh, he was pretty cool. That was yeah. a pretty cool animal. Um, I will say one thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, uh, they did keep the rough tooth dolphins in a very, very tiny enclosure. Like one you see and it makes you feel uncomfortable. Right. Because- It's I, so small, and especially for how many they had yeah. in that area. However, usually during like non-show times, they, they probably, probably have more. Cool. Um, and then but, obviously these are non-releasable rescues and you can't just, you can't give those animals anywhere. Like you have to have right. the right kind of thing for it. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword of like, oh, this is, that, that doesn't make me feel, yeah. So uh, there you go. Uh, not trying to take one side or the other, but. For me, I felt like it was a SeaWorld spoof type thing. Oh yeah, it definitely felt uh, like they've seen Sea Lions Tonight and yeah. were like, oh, we need to make a show like Sea Lions Tonight. Yeah. Um, so there we go. That was the Sea Lion Show. <laughs> Here you can see a harbor seal. Swimming around. Looks like there's they only have one in here, at least at the moment. In a, uh, I like how these guys swim upside down. Um, we'll say this definitely looks like a older, older exhibit here, but they are building a new one, so that's a good sign. Good for them. 
He'll be happy like that in no time. We just wandered inside, and this is a very, very large building. Uh, feels very jungly. Let's see what's inside here. You've got a tank with some fish in it. There's no signage on this one. I want to say it's a white-necked raven, but I'm not really sure. Very pretty bird. Here's Trudy eating a grape and wandering away from us. <laughs> I do like that her enrichment toy is a box of Kraft mac and cheese. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? I don't know. I think Trudy's more interested in that grape. This is Cosmo, a Ryan synth macaw. He's a very pretty blue. Mm -hmm. In this indoor section, it does look like they are building some new exhibits as well. Probably for uh, snakes or small reptiles. Over here, having a little snuggle party, is a couple of African spurred tortoises. Here's Stingray Bay. Man, they got some big rays in there too. Look at that guy. Giant. Um, pretty good size for a Stingray enclosure as well. This is a pretty feather. Yeah. They're really cool to watch. Get a great view here of an albino Burmese python. A very, very large snake. Very pretty. Something I don't normally say about snakes. Let's check out this very nice garden area with like streams and birds and all sorts of stuff. Here you can see they got a lot of different bird hatches and uh, for macaws. Beautiful animals, as, as you can tell. Uh, one thing I like is that they, uh, they have their names on there. So this is Gracie's hut. Gracie's a greenwood macaw from Central and South America. Hi, Gracie. This bird is a Senegal parrot and is walking away from us. Oh, thinking about coming back. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, maybe. There is some alligators as well. The alligators look very tired. I mean, it's pretty warm out today, so I can't blame the alligators. No, it's hot too. And this is Sherman. <coughs> Sophie's very excited. <coughs> Sophie's very excited. <laughs> And this is, of course, a cockatoo. Very loud. Also in the peaceful garden area, you have some turtles. I like those guys over there posing right next to the waterfall. Guys, I'm not really sure what this is. This is Kitty Corner, but there doesn't seem to be much of anything here. Um, Except for this, where you, you, you use a flip-flop to do like a redneck version of the Blue Man Group. I also imagine you probably were supposed to bash them down there, but... Yeah. Um, but like, I'm not tall enough for that. Yeah, that sounds better. Still weird that they use flip-flops. Yes. All right, and that'll do it for Gulf World. Overall, it had some ups and downs. I would say the dolphin show in that world-class facility, that was really nice. Always love seeing penguins. I actually think I enjoyed the sea lion show more than I enjoyed the dolphin show. Um, good to know it does go to a, a nonprofit, and these are all rescued animals. So I think all those things get a plus. Uh, some of the exhibits I thought were not very nice, and you kind of questioned, like, it's $30 to get in. Where does that $30 go? Agreed. Um, some of the exhibits are much older and run down and mm -hmm. uh but i loved uh how like we said the dolphin show talked about issues that a lot of uh marine shows don't talk about yeah. like if you and find one stranded in, in a beach you. environment it's very important to talk about that yes. kind of stuff all right so that was gulf world thanks for watching